Want to speak real Filipino from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at filipinopod101.com. Hi, my name is Erica. And welcome. <laughs> Hi, my name is Erica. And welcome to Filipino Top Words. Our lesson for today is 10 must know math words. Yay, math. Matematika. Ma te ma tika. Mathematics or math. Math in Filipino is matematika. How do we use math in a sentence? We can say matematika ang paborito kong subject. Mathematics is my favorite subject. Matematika ang paborito kong subject. Is math your favorite subject? Well, it's not my favorite, but I don't also hate it. No, I like I like uh, math. I think numero, numero, number, numero. In English, number. Let's use numero in a sentence. Maraming tao ang ayaw sa numero. Maraming tao ang ayaw sa numero. A lot of people do not like numbers. A significant number of people do not like numbers. According to studies. <laughs> but you cannot escape it because numbers are everywhere. If you are on a budget, numbers. If you are thinking of when you're going to get married, numbers. If you're planning a wedding, numbers. If you're looking for a job, numbers. Kalahati. Kalahati. Half. The next word is kalahati. In English, half. Kalahati ka ng edad ko. You are half my age. Kalahati ka ng edad ko. Well, I, I cannot yet tell this to anyone. Except really small kids. Porcento. Porcento. Percent. Our next word is porcento. In English, percent. Ilang porcento ang income tax sa Pilipinas? Ilang porcento ang income tax sa Pilipinas. How much is the income tax percentage in the Philippines? Even. 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 The next word is even. In English, even. Madaling hatiin sa dalawa ang mga even number. Madaling hatiin sa dalawa ang mga even number. It is easy to divide even numbers. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Anything ending in even numbers <laughs> can be divided into two. Odd. 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 The next word is odd. In English, odd. Kapag magbibigay ka raw ng pera sa kasal, dapat Odd ang unang numero para hindi ito mahati. Kapag magbibigay ka raw ng pera sa kasal, dapat odd ang unang numero para hindi ito mahahati. They say that if you were to give money at a wedding, it should be an odd number so that it can't be divided. So it means that you should give odd number amount of money so that... Symbolically, right? So, symbolically, it means that the couple won't be separated, right? Magkalkula. Magkalkula. To calculate. Magkalkula. In English, to calculate. Kaya mo bang magkalkula ng mabilis? Kaya mo bang magkalkula ng mabilis? Can you calculate quickly? Can you? No, she cannot. Sorry. <laughs> Dagdagan. Dagdagan. To add. Next word is dagdagan. Or to add. Pakidagdagan ng lima pang order ng kanin. Pakidagdagan ng lima pang order ng kanin. Please add five more orders of rice. Wow, rice is life. <laughs> okay, I don't judge this person. But still, like five orders of rice. Please, eat whatever you want. Bawasan. Bawasan. 
to subtract. Bawasan or to subtract. Wag mong bawasan ng tax ang mga nagpa-part-time job lamang. Wag mong bawasan ng tax ang mga nagpa-part-time job lamang. Don't subtract the tax for those who are just working part-time. Hatiin. Hatiin. To divide. Hatiin. Or to divide. Hatiin natin ito sa walo. Hatiin natin ito sa walo. Let's divide this into eight. What else do you divide by eight? Just pizza and cake. <laughs> or you probably get like eight pieces, eight cups of rice. <laughs> divide this into two. So that is the end of the lesson and hope you learned something new. Do you like math? Why, why or why not? So if you have any answer to that question, don't forget to put them in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and visit filipinopod101.com to learn more Filipino. Hanggang sa muli! So how do we use... Oh, because couple that eats together stays together. Hi, Smithly! <laughs>